Okay, we're gonna start our seahorse now and I have already started with a chain 26 and I'm using cut and yarn and a 3 millimeter crochet hook. So I have already made my 26 chains and what we're gonna do is we're going to work a single crochet in the first four stitches. So we're gonna skip the first chain starting from the second one, work four one single crochet in each of the first four stitches so two three and four one half double crochet in the next stitch three double crochet in the next stitch one, two, three, three double crochet in the next stitch, one, two, three, three triple crochet in the next three stitches we're going to work three triple crochet that are going to be crocheted together so it's going to seem as if it's a decrease so wrap the yarn around your hook twice put your hook in the next chain stitch grab the yarn pull through the first two loops grab the yarn pull through the next two loops and we're going to leave the last two loops on our hook wrap the yarn around your hook twice, put your hook in the next chain, grab the yarn, pull through two loops, grab the yarn, pull through the next two loops and we're going to leave the last loop on our hook. Wrap the yarn around twice, put your hook in the next chain which is the third one, grab the yarn, pull through two loops, grab the yarn, pull through two loops. So we have worked three triple crochet and we have four loops on our hook. Grab the yarn, pull through all of those four loops and we're going to work the same process again. So we're going to work three triple crochet together again. So wrap the yarn around twice, put your hook in the next chain, grab the yarn, pull through two loops, grab the yarn, pull through the next two loops and we're going to leave the last two loops in our hook. Wrap the yarn around twice, put your hook in the next chain, grab the yarn, pull through two loops, grab the yarn, pull through the next two loops and we're going to leave the last loop on our hook. Wrap the yarn around twice and put your hook in the third chain, the next one, so it's the third out of the total three that we're working together. Grab the yarn, pull through two loops. So let me do that one more time. So the last chain, grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops, grab the yarn, pull through the next two loops and we have a total of four loops on our hook. Grab the yarn, pull through all of those four loops and by working decreases this way we're curving in the seahorse. By working increases we're curving out the seahorse. So um, if you want to try and make your own uh, pattern, your own design, you can try by working increases and decreases and see how it works out. In the next stitch we're going to work, in the next two stitches we're going to work two triple crochet together. So wrap the yarn around twice, put your hook in the next chain, grab the yarn, pull through two loops, grab the yarn in the next two loops and the last two loops in our hook. Wrap the yarn around twice, put your hook in the next chain, grab the yarn, pull through two loops, grab the yarn, pull through the next two loops. So we said, I said that we needed two triple crochet together, so we have a total of two triple crochet and three loops in our hook. Grab the yarn, pull through all of those three loops. 
Next, we're going to work two double crochet together. So we are only wrapping the yarn around once. Put your hook in the next stitch. Grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops, and we're going to leave the last two in our hook. Wrap the yarn around once. Put your hook in the next chain. Grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops, and we have a total of three loops in our hook. Grab the yarn, pull through all of those three loops. So see how it's curving outwards, I mean inwards at this point because we're working the decreases. In the next stitch we're going to work two half double crochet so it's an increase, two half double crochet in the same stitch one and two. In the next stitch we're going to work two single crochet one two single crochet in the same stitch. In the next stitch we're going to work two single crochet again. One, two, we're, and we're going to work um, two single crochet in the next two stitches as well. So next one, one, two single crochet in the next stitch as well, two single crochet in the same stitch. 3 single crochet in the next chain, 1, 2, 3, 3 single crochet in the next chain as well, 1, 2, 3, and a slip stitch in our last chain. And chain 1, I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to leave it a little longer so I can um, sew it on the bag, pull the loop and tighten up. So this is how our seahorse looks like. The reason that we did the increases in the end is because um, the tail of the seahorse um, kind of um, curls up in the end so that's why we work the increases. So this is how the seahorse looks like so far. Next we're going to work the fins. So what we're going to do is I'm going to count uh, seven stitches backwards starting from the first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to attach my second color. I'm going to use color yellow. So grab the yarn, pull through the stitch, chain two and slip stitch in the next stitch and we're going to follow the same process for three more stitches so chain two and slip stitch in the next stitch so this was the first out of the total three more that we want to do chain two and slip stitch in the next stitch chain two and slip stitch in the same in the next stitch chain one Cut the yarn, pull the loop and tighten up. So we started in the seventh stitch, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we want to count uh, three more stitches, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And right about here we want to attach the yellow yarn again. And I'm going to grab the yarn and pull it through the stitch, chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. And right in the next stitch I am going to work a shell. So I'm going to work five double crochet in the same stitch. One, two, three, four and five and slip stitch in the first second stitch and chain one cut the yarn pull the loop and tighten up 
and our seahorse is ready what we need to do is to um, secure the yarns and we're only going to leave this green long yarn that we left in the end in order to show it on our back so let's secure all of the yarns and see how our seahorse looks completed and this is how our seahorse looks like completed what you can do is you can attach um, a small black bead over here to make it look like an eye or you can stitch with black yarn uh, to make it look like it's an eye but because I'm not going to attach any eyes either on the fish um, I'm not going to attach any eyes on the seahorse either so now we are going to do the coral and it's easy but it, it can get confusing uh, if you do not mark the uh, place where you started at so let's see how we're going to make the coral okay so now we're going to make our coral and uh, there's really not a wrong or right way to make a coral what we need to know is that we can make many extensions to it you know make an exten extension from the extension and this way we make a coral so it's it, it's pretty kind of a freehand so I'm going to show you a way in order to do it and you can make it any way that you like once you understand the way that it's being done so I have started with a chain 25 this is cotton yarn and a 3 millimeter crochet hook okay so let's start I'm going to start crocheting from the second chain and I'm going to make one single crochet in the first five stitches one two three four five now I'm going to make my first extension so I'm going to chain ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten starting uh, to crochet from the second chain again I'm going to work one single crochet in the first four stitches one two three four now I can choose to make another extension or you can keep crocheting one stitch in every stitch up until you reach your base chain again that we started with the first 25 so I'm gonna make another extension so I'm gonna chain six one two three four five six and I'm gonna crochet one single crochet in all of those five stitches because we're always skipping the first chain stitch so I'm gonna work one single crochet in all of those five stitches one two three four five so now in order to continue I'm going to work a single crochet in the next chain from those ten that I crocheted for the uh, first extension work a single crochet in the next chain work a single crochet in the next chain as well and now we can choose to make another extension again so I can make a chain of three one two three and starting from the second chain I work one single crochet in the two stitches one and two so I made another extension so now work one single crochet in your last two chains so we worked all those extensions on top of the first extension of the ten chains that we made so work one single crochet in the last two chains so see how it looks like so far the coral has started to form so now we're going to attach all of this part on our beginning chain of the 25 so put your hook in the next chain and work a single crochet one single crochet in the next two stitches one two and now we can make another extension we can work a chain of seven one two three four five six seven 
work a single crochet in the first two chains one two so now we can make another small extension so we can work a chain of three one two three put your hook in the next chain and work one single crochet in the first two stitches and now we're going to keep crocheting on top of the um, extension that we did so put your hook in the next chain and work one single crochet and one single crochet in all of the chains that are re that are left on the extension so one two and three and see how this part looks like that we just did so now we're going to attach this part on our beginning chain as well so put your hook in the next chain and work a single crochet one single crochet in the next five stitches one two three four five so the numbers that I'm that I'm saying they're random you can choose to um, make this any way that you like as I said in the beginning it's what it really is 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 um, it's freehand crochet so now work a chain of 11 1 2 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and work one single crochet in the first seven chains so skipping the first go to the second chain and work seven single crochet 1 2 3 4 five six and seven so now we can make another extension as well so we can make a chain of five one two three four five work a single crochet in the first two chains one two and we can make another extension you can make as many extensions as you like work one two three chains or four chains and work one single crochet in the next three chains one two three and now finish making one single crochet in the last in the uh, last two chains that are that we made for the for this extension one two and work one single crochet in the remaining chain stitches for the beginning extension that we made one two and three so this is how this part of the coral that we just did looks like and work a single crochet in the next chain stitch from the beginning 25 chains that we did and this is how our coral looks like at this point so when you sew it on the bag you can um, give it any um, you can curve it in any way that you like okay so let's keep crocheting now I am going to work we did one single crochet on top of the chains over here from the beginning chain that we did and I'm going to chain 10 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 and 10 and I'm going to work one single crochet on the next eight stitches one two three 
four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we have one chain left. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to crochet. I'm going to make another extension and I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to work one single crochet in the next four chains. One, two, three, four. So we finished with this extension. Work one single crochet on the one chain that's left on the previous extension. And one single crochet in the next chain of the beginning 25 chains that we did. So one single crochet in the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. We can chain eight. One, two, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Work one single crochet in the first two chains. One, two, chain four. One, two, three, four. So this is another extension. Work one single crochet in the next three chains. One, two, three, work one single crochet in the next three chains from the extension from the first extension that we did of the eight chains one two three and four and we can make one more small extension one two three four and work one single crochet in the next three chains one, two, three, one single crochet in the last chain for the extension and we can work one single crochet for the last one, two, three, four stitches. One, two, three, four, and we can make another extension if we like. So I'm going to make a chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One single crochet in the first five stitches. One, two, three, four, Five, so we're left with one chain. We're going to make another extension. I'm going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One single crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, three. We can make another extension if we like. One, two, three chains work one single crochet in the next two chains one two now we're going to work one single crochet in the next two chains down here one two and one single crochet down here and work a slip stitch on the last chain out of those 25 that we did in the beginning chain one, cut the yarn long enough because we're going to have many extensions to sew, pull the loop, and tighten up. So this is how our coral looks like.
and you can give it any um, curves you can just pull it upwards like this so our coral is ready to attach it on our bag okay so now that we completed our coral um, we can attach we can sew everything or all the appliques on our uh, bag you can also make seaweed or anything that you like um, I'm going to attach the fish and the seahorse um, so I really don't know in what um, how I'm going to arrange them but you can arrange yours in any way that you like you can also make seaweed, you can make more fish um, you can even make another theme you can make flowers, you can make butterflies or you can leave your bag um, plain as it was it also looks very nice so I'm going to turn off my video, I'm going to attach all my appliques on my crochet bag and the weight that we want to attach is we want when it's on our bag we want to our needle to go in from the one stitch and come out from the next one go in in the next stitch come out in the next one this way your applique is going to be attached on your crochet uh, nicely and it's not going to be making any uh, it's not going to be getting baggy in some spaces because if you leave stitches um, crochet stitches unsewed unstitched uh, they're going to become baggy and it's not going to look nice on your crochet work so we want to be careful how we attach the, the things that pleaks on our crochet work so I'm going to turn off my video now and sew my crochet pleaks on my bag and I'm going to turn my video back on again when I'm finished okay and at this point we have completed the bag um, I have sewed in um, one of the corals I sewed the uh, seahorse and the fish and I sewed two pearls over here uh, to make it look like it's the bubbles from the fish uh, um, what I want to say is that this bag you do not only have to make it for a summer bag you can also crochet this bag for um, any time you can make it with any yarn that you like what I wanted to show um, what, what, what I really wanted to show is how to make a, a rectangular bottom for a bag how to create this stitch and how to create bag handles uh, because they are different than the ones that we have seen so far so thanks for watching please subscribe and if you like the video please like and leave a comment thanks again bye bye